So what I've come to realize recently is that free will is one of the most important things in the universe. No matter what I research, no matter what I read, no matter what I check out, I always hear the importance of free will. It's in Dolores' canon works and the law of one everywhere, right? Free will. And when you understand this concept, it makes sense as to why reality is as it is right now. Why we're struggling, why we're voting for people to come and save us that we intrinsically know we're not going to save us, right? That's, yeah, it's our free will, it's our, it's our choice. And when we are wondering why we don't see extraterrestrial life, why we don't see all these things, it's because of our free will, right? We haven't chosen that path yet. We haven't chosen to find and to be discovered and to have that relationship with extraterrestrial life yet because as a planet, as a collective, we don't believe it. We don't want it, right? We're not asking for it. We're not asking for help. And that blows me to this point I want to make in this video. So many people moan, right? So many people don't ask for help, don't want help, they don't believe in God, they don't believe in higher power, they don't believe in anything of that nature, right? And when you understand free will, you realize why this is actually so important. If you don't ask for help, they're not gonna give you help. And when I say they, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know exactly who they are. Higher beings, higher density beings, higher spiritual beings, whether that's angels, whether that's God itself, whether that's the council, like there's higher forces watching us, right? There's, that's what I believe. There's higher forces that are interacting. They're kind of watching us and learning about us and watching our growth and keeping an eye on us, I would say, right? They are watching us from a distance the same way when we watch animal life we don't run in we don't jump in and go oh hi look at me i'm from this planet i go live over there but you guys are over here we don't we don't do that we just watch right we don't interfere and if you are of a higher spiritual nature you wouldn't do that you wouldn't just run in and interfere because it changes everything and this is the point this is why free will is important right if they want us, and if the purpose of our evolution and our trajectory as humans, as a collective, as a soul, as a spirit, moving through this universe, evolving, then we would need authenticity. We would need to make decisions and choices based on what we believe and our own journeys. And if there was some extraterrestrial events that forced us to believe something, or some way that could be proved of all these big questions then it takes away everyone's free will doesn't it if something was to be forced upon us forced to make us believe it we no longer use faith we no longer trust in a higher power we no longer have that means of living right with that authenticity and that state of being that allows us to take a chance right to see where faith takes us and so when you understand this it bows the next question why would any of these powers help us if we don't believe that they exist right why would they do anything if we don't believe they exist because they're not going to interfere with our free will if we believe they don't exist and that's it right they're not going to change that that's our belief and they respect that more than anything it's one of the most highly respected things in the universe free will if we don't believe that anyone out there can help us if we don't believe anyone out there can guide us and be there for us then they are not going to change that no one's going to change that however if you ask for help if you ask for guidance you ask for strength and you do all these things that people do in prayer then you're essentially holding out your hand and saying, look, I believe in you and I'm asking you. And then they can meet you, right? They can actually help you. And it doesn't mean that they're just going to save your life or manifest all your dreams or whatever, but they can actually guide you in ways that you would never deem possible because you're actually saying that you believe in them, right? You have that free will that they're not interfering with your free will anymore. So bear that in mind, bear that 
idea that free will is important. So what do you believe? Because no one's coming to change that. The only person that's going to change your free will is you. Sure, other people can influence it. Other people can suggest stuff. I can suggest stuff. I can give you videos. You can watch my videos. You can watch other people's videos. You can read books, whatever it is. But no one's going to change the trajectory of your life but you. We can only influence. And when you understand that, you can take accountability for your life. And if you don't believe in these things and you don't think that you're getting help, you know, you're not getting the guidance that you want, ask yourself, do you believe in it, right? Are you actually sincerely asking? Or are you just going, oh, I don't really believe in you, but, well, oh, well, can, can you help me, universe? Can you help me, God? Like, is it just thrown out there, or is it a sincere asking for help? Because you'll find that when you ask with sincerity, you will get help, right? There's the reason that these things stand the test of time. I say it in all my videos, truth of reality cannot be changed, right? All of the stuff that's lies and deception, it needs force, it needs constant defense and propagation to keep going. But the nature of reality would always be there in the background, right? So if anything stands the test of time, stands for millennia, thousands of years, over and over again, and people keep doing it, People keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it like prayer, right? Like connecting with divinity. If there was no use to it, if there was no purpose and no one was receiving anything back, when no one was getting anything, no one was finding their way through this method, then they would stop doing it. But they don't. And that's the important thing, right? If it works for this many people for this long amount of time, there has to be a reason. So if you aren't receiving guidance, you aren't receiving help, question what your free will is, question what you believe and question your sincerity and how you're asking because no one's going to come and change your beliefs for you. You need to change them first. And when you do, when you open yourself up to this stuff, open yourself up to divinity, open yourself up to the powers out there in the universe and shut off this closed mindedness that we all seem to have that we're the apex of the universe and some bullshit like that, right? Like we, like the universe is so big. It's so big. It's unfathomable, the size of it. To even comprehend, to even entertain the thought that we could be the only life out there is absolute delusion. Extraterrestrials exist, aliens exist, right? It's, it's, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. They exist, they're watching us, they're waiting for us to get ready to be at the level as a collective to, you could say, reach the consciousness state that we need to reach, right? We're not there yet. And I believe soon something will happen and that shift will change and we'll, it will become more and more apparent that, and more and more of a say like a mainstream thought that yeah it is real it's picking up heat right people are changing their perception over and over again and i think once the general consensus is yeah et is real and yeah we we don't believe they're bad and we want their help we want their guidance if they can offer it then they will be there to give it to us but it starts with each person changing their perception changing their free will and stopping to ask themselves if they believe in this stuff if they believe there's anyone higher than us right is anyone out there in the entire universe possibly higher than us higher than us we're dropping bombs on each other still right we cannot see oneness we cannot see unity we cannot even see God, we can't see any of this stuff yet. It's not even... To think that we're the apex, like I said, is delusion. There clearly would be far more advanced civilizations than us, and I think they're out there, and they're coming eventually, in a good way. So don't let anyone tell you that there's some going to be some kind of alien invasion, and they've kidnapped Obama or whatever, 
and we need to start our defensively military budgets and all the taxes are going up to pay for this don't follow any of that when that comes just trust that they're probably going to be good i can't say for sure but if they've come across the universe they must be smart right and if you're smart you would eventually realize that this division this dropping bombs on each other arguing about race arguing about religions it's all primitive right eventually you you would just transcend all of that you transcend it all and go yeah yeah it doesn't matter we're all one and everything's the same thing everything's god and when you get to that point you can travel across the universe you can teleport right they're not traveling at the speed of light so it'll be too long so they're clearly 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 far more advanced and if they're that advanced then they can't be living like us so if they're not living like us they must be more advanced than us and if they're more advanced than us they must recognize unity and oneness if they do that and they believe in god then by its own nature they're likely going to be good <laughs>